After more than 40 years at the side of British forces around the world, the Browning 9mm pistol is being retired. The MOD has placed an £8 million order for the Glock 17. Will Inglis has been to the Royal Artillery Barracks in Woolwich to try it out. Target. Once the preserve of staff officers and pilots, the sidearm is now in far wider use. On ops, it's both a backup in case of problems with the SAAC rifle and a last line of defence against the insider threat during downtime. The trusty Browning has been around in one form or another since the war and it's been issued since the late 60s. Most of the sidearms currently in service actually date from around then and frankly they're beginning to show their age. This then is the future, the Glock 17. Well, after about 46 years we're probably at the point where it does need to be replaced. Um, it has become, um, I think, higher cost now to look after it, and there's no doubt that given the last uh, 10 years' worth of operations, it's had more use now than ever before. And it's at the point now really where it's really not sustainable for the future, and, and we should, I should look at something new. The fourth generation Glock is lighter, more accurate, and can carry more ammo, 17 rounds in the magazine instead of 13. But crucially, it's safe to holster loaded and ready saving crucial seconds on the Browning in life-threatening situations. With the Browning, there was uh, an issue where we could not carry it loaded made ready uh, in the holster. With the, the new pistol, the Glock 17 Gen 4, uh, it's a striker system. The, all the safety is internal, so we can have the ability to carry it uh, loaded made ready. For the, for the individual shooter, what that means is when he grabs it, as soon as he pulls it out, he's just got a point and shoot. Target! Pistols inherently are unsafe weapons, as, as most soldiers will know. Um, and therefore, we had to be very clear that we were content with the way in which the safety mechanisms work on this pistol. It's got three separate safety mechanisms. Um, and effectively, it will, not, it will not go off unless you pull the trigger. In all, 25,000 are being bought, complete with holsters, for a shade over £8 million. Training starts in the next few weeks, with Afghanistan the priority. Will Inglis, Forces News, Woolwich. And Will joins me now. 25,000 of these weapons have been bought, so mm. who are they being issued to? Well, they're going to be uh, available to anyone on operations who wants one uh, and has a need for one. The time was that uh, the general service pistol was really just for staff officers and for, for pilots, maybe vehicle commanders, people who couldn't carry a long-barrelled weapon. But these days that's changed. Uh, the pistol really is now a, a backup for the main weapon in case there are problems with the SA-80 or, or to carry around the patrol base with you with the insider threat as it is these days. And that, that really is a step change in, in the way that the British Army in particular has, has tended to use pistols. And is the Browning just going to be phased out, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Over the next uh, year or so, they'll, they'll start to disappear after, as you say, decades of trusty service. Um, they're going to be replaced. Now, the training starts on the Glock in the next few weeks. You don't actually need that much. That's sort of the whole point of the weapon. They're maintenance-free. You really just slap in a magazine and, uh, and then you can figure it out. There's no cocking handle or anything like that. It really is point and shoot. Um, and then, uh, yeah, they'll start to appear on operations initially later in the year. Alongside the, the Sig Sauer P226, that's been bought as an urgent operational requirement, really in response to the insider threat. And, uh, yeah, they'll become commonplace increasing over the next year or so. The Browning, I expect, will, will survive in some form or another. If you look hard enough in a lot of armories, you can still find uh, revolvers um, dating from before 1967. So I would expect that you'll find the old Browning it's been, kicking been in service for a long time, more than 40 years, I say. Yeah, that's right. And, it, you know, it, it is a reliable weapon for what it is. It's actually historically, if you're into that kind of thing, quite an important weapon, the, the Browning High Power. And uh, as you say, they've been around in one form or another since the war. Now, uh, they have a, a famed stopping power. Um, they uh, can take 13 rounds. But as I say, the Glock is a step beyond that. You know, here we are in the uh, 21st century. The Glock can take 17 rounds. As I say, it's relatively maintenance free and really a step change, much more accurate, much lighter as well. And it comes with this holster system so that you can carry it around with with a round in the breach. You want to declare your range score before you go? Oh, it was perfect. Um, uh. you know, uh, <laughs> all, all the ones in the ball were mine. Right.